Oh, Julie, thanks for getting in touch. You've sent a question in for me. I love questions. Obviously, that's where I come from as a qualified beauty expert on one-to-one -one basis with clients. Your concern is acne rosacea, and quite rightly so. You've had it diagnosed by the doctor, and you've got your medical products, which you are continuing to use, which you must use from the doctor as well. I can give you beauty advice, and what I can say is that if you go to my website, alisonyoungbeauty.com, you will see a section underneath skin conditions with a free tutorial video about acne rosacea and it will also give ideas for makeup and other concerns that will actually help you to really feel better about your skin but specifically what you're asking me right now is you want an oil to go onto your skin to make it feel less dry well what you need to do is I would recommend something like the Akin rosehip oil and the Akin rosehip or radiance oil comes in either the original texture or the lightweight texture so it's entirely up to you you know how sort of fluid you want that to be and what you do is put all of your medicated products on but make sure you then test patch the radiance oil now there is also a section on my website about how to test patch a product and why you should test patch a product so once you've test patched the radiance oil or the akin oil for you with the rose hip and the reason I've chosen that is because it's only one ingredient so it's easier for your very sensitive skin to perhaps actually accept that ingredient and feel the comfort come back in your skin so don't forget to also get further advice by going on to alisonyoungbeauty.com and actually seeing those tutorials on acne rosacea too but i hope that you get your results hello sarah you've got in touch with me as a qualified beauty expert with your skin question now you're 16 and you've got acne so first of all i want to give you confidence in that i had acne at that age so it, you can get through it but i know at the time it can be very inflamed and difficult for you to manage. So let me give you a couple of tips. You're saying also that it's very dry and that could be caused by sometimes using too strong a washing product on your skin or cleaning product. So I want to recommend the Propolis Gel from SBC because you want affordable skincare but effective skincare. And that's got the Propolis ingredient in it, which is key in that wash. And it comes in a lovely big size. And then the Pure Potions I'm going to do, which is a free from natural range. And that comes in a big size, hydrating moisture lotion. And that comes in a big pump. You can use it face and you can use it body, but that shouldn't clog the pores. And also bear in mind that there are lots of sort of do's and don'ts with a very active skin, because an acne skin is a very active skin. And if you go to my website, alisonyoungbeauty.com and you can look under the sections for spotty and for acne skin where you'll see free tutorials and I'll tell you whether you should scrub, not scrub, do masks, not masks and how often you should do them and also what makeup is good for you because some makeup with very advanced and scientific ingredients actually might clog the pores but other makeup that is more natural or free from base in my tutorials, you'll see those on my website, can actually help give you skin confidence but also add more active ingredients into your skincare regime that could actually help your condition too hi wendy you've got in contact with me thank you very much and your skincare question is actually to do with multiple aging concerns because you're 52 and going through the menopause so it does affect and change our skin and the key ones that you've mentioned to me are about sort of pigmentation and slackening with multiple aging concerns and you're asking for what to slot into your skincare regime well first of all make sure that sort of you know all of the answers and go to my website alisonyoungbeauty.com where there's free tutorials on skin Skin going through the menopause so you need to know what your skin type is and then what the effect of the menopause are specifically what you're asking for is definitely going to be in the daytime you should be using the ultrasun anti-pigmentation factor 50 day cream all year round because that's got the anti-pigmentation ingredients in it as well as the protection ingredients in it to stop that pigmentation being stimulated even from daylight during the winter months and then I think your best moisturizer is going to be Age Benefit from Gatineau and Age Benefit they do an eye cream which will also address the dark circles as well as the aging and the lines but Age Benefit do a moisturizer and that moisturizer is designed to actually address multiple signs of aging and it's not for 20 or 30 olds that just have one sign of aging it is for multiple signs where we have suffer from slackness dryness 
pigmentation and tiredness on the face area as well as the lines too so I think they're going to be perfect for you and more help and advice and even whether you should mask or exfoliate what makeup you should be using which by the way could be great with something like the original bare minerals foundation because that's a free from formula so that will also act as a natural protective because it has a natural sunscreen in it which is a mineral sunscreen to add on top over your pigmentation and that's good to even out the look of a skin tone when your skin is suffering from multiple ages as well. Hi Lima, you've got in touch actually regarding your daughter's skin and she's got, you tell me, very high colour, very sensitive skin but you've already managed to find us, so well done, that she loves and can work with the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish and also the Propolis Gel from SBC. They were good purchases, they were great for your sensitive skin. Remember as well to test patch any new product on a sensitive skin. If you go to my website, alisonyoungbeauty.com, it actually has a tutorial video on how to test patch and about sensitive skin and what causes it and other products that you can use and techniques that you can use. But specifically you're asking for, she wants a sunscreen and her current sunscreen she's had a reaction to. So what we could do is actually, I'd recommend the Dr. Russo sunscreen, which is a once a day sunscreen. And of course with QVC's 30 day money back guarantee, it's great to be able to test patch that and then try it on her face, knowing with the security that you can send it back to. And that, that's great on sensitive skin when you can do that. And the other thing is as well, you're asking for a moisturizer. Now, if she's already getting on with the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish, my first choice would actually to be take her to the Lizelle Super Skin Moisturizer. Now that's the most desensitizing one it's fragrance free it's essential oil free and Liz first made that for very sensitive skin so that counteracts sort of the look and the feel of dryness and redness and again test patch that first but I think that she should get on with that that would be my first choice and also I want to add in something that has a natural sunscreen, which is makeup, and it's free from makeup. And if you see on my tutorials on my website, alisonyoungbeauty.com, about free from products and why they're good for sensitive skin. And the Bare Minerals Original Foundation would be great for that, and she could use that, and it actually acts as a natural protection, even just from the weather and things that irritate on the outside on the skin. So sensitive skin can and should wear makeup where it doesn't irritate them to actually get really confidence in the look of the skin, but also actually act as a little overcoat on the skin to help to safeguard against sensitivities too. Hi Karen, you've come forward with a makeup, and it's really an application technique makeup question, is to do with your eye shape. Now your eye shape, you're describing it as deep set eyes, but you've got a protruding brow area there. So what we would do as a makeup artist, we'd actually put on lighter, brighter colors across the whole of the mobile lid. So forget smoky, forget dark colors. You can actually use highlighters as eyeshadows behind your mascara to bring that lid forward and play your brows down. So don't put such a strong brow or strong brow highlighting product on. Actually use your highlighting product on your lid area. And if you want more tips and techniques actually to do with eye shape and face shape, along with makeup tutorials, then go for the free tutorials on my website on alisonyoungbeauty.com to learn more. Hi Catherine, you've come through with a fantastic question. I'm sure it's actually on everyone's mind that loves their Pericone products. There is two products which are maybe a little bit confusing and I want to explain to you what the difference is. That's what you're asking, so well spotted. You have got the Neuropeptide facial cream. Now the Neuropeptide facial cream comes in a tube and that is actually technically a serum and you use it underneath the moisturizer, best used in the morning or before makeup because it actually has a sculpting firming effect on the look of the contours of your face when you apply it and to so apply it a few minutes before moisture, before moisturizer but it has to be followed with a moisturizer on top. The other one is called Neuropeptide firming moisturizer and that comes in the jar. Now that sort of the big deal one, that is the one that really has that anti-aging effect on the whole look of the skin aging. So you do need to be older to use that. You can put it on top of the other product or you can use this on its own on a night time as well. So that's the difference between the two. Oh, hi Sue, you got in contact with a great question actually. You suffer from dark circles, often I think caused by your makeup running or moving and you even have to wear waterproof mascara because it actually moves and goes underneath the eye area too. And, and you're wanting to know the solution. You're saying even eyeshadows don't actually stay on 
of the lid. Well, what it is, is you've actually got active oil glands coming out of the lashes and what's known as an oily eyelid. Now, that means that eyeshadows move on you. So th there's a couple of different ways that we can rectify it. And I'll give you the complete answer. Is that, first of all, on a night when you take off your makeup, you need to take it off with more of a non oily product. So if you use something like the Elemis Micellar Water as an eye makeup remover, for example, then that's like less likely than an oil or an all-in-one cleanser to leave any residue that might affect your makeup the next morning. Then the next morning when you get up, wipe over with the micellar water again to reduce any oil that might have been secreted by the lashes or brows during the night time. And then before you put your eye makeup on, I actually want to use something like the Bye Bye Pores or the Tarte Mattifying Products, which are a white powder and you brush them on the lid first. And then after you brush those on the lid, let's look at Long Wear Shadow. So Mali Shadow Sticks, they go on the whole of the eye area. Bobbi Brown as well, and you've mentioned those brands, keep trying those and put it on top of the white powder because that's long wear too. And so they should now stick and adhere to more of a dry surface. It's a great question actually, so thank you very much. And for more tutorial advice as well, then actually go to my website, alisonyoungbeauty.com and check out the makeup tutorials with problem solving ideas.